Tell me what you have to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Want you all night long. Want you all night long. Good day, folks. Today we're gonna do my favorite video, the five easy tricks video. It's the fifth year anniversary when we do this video, so we're gonna do some of the old exciting tricks. And Fabian Birch, X Games champion, is with us today. And how's it been treading with us? It was a lot of fun, and I learned like pretty much all of them tricks new today. It was an exciting day, and uh, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, and you shared some good tips. Let's go to trick number one. Thank you. What do you guys think? Does that fit in a video title, Five Easy Tricks? <laughs> <laughs> a very easy first hand plant-ish to do, is almost a hand drag, is that you find a nice little bank like here. And then let's say I'm gonna carve this way. So I'm going up the bank that way, kind of carving that. I'm just like putting down the hand and I try to like turn around the hand. I find it a little bit easier to go more down the fall line and do it more like a, like a Euro card. But to go just straight up and down, it's a good first step because it's really not that scary and you get that hand onto the snow. Let's try it a few times. I suggest you play around with the shape of your turn. If you do a turn that's more like that, it's going to feel like a Euro card. It's sick in its own right. But this is about hand plants, and if you have a turn that looks more like this, it's gonna feel much more like a hand plant. And it can help you move towards doing a down the pipe hand plant later on. Let's do a cute little hand plant now. A cute one. Intense. Not too intense. One really simple uh, hand plant to do, you can do on a really flat bank. You do just like a tripod butter. I've shown this once before. Go up like that, and I'm back to switch. You can also rotate up the pipe, and you can go from two hands to one hand once you get better at this. Let's do a few. Let's do quite a small hand plant here. Uh, straight up, I'm going straight up before the pipe. Ooh. What do you think about this trick? It's hard because you have to like really try to pop out of with your hands. Otherwise you catch your tails. So you like really have some pressure. Yeah, you need those. to be like super strong in your arms or like in your whole body to not like jump into the wall to come like out of it. Would you say it's kind of similar to a handspring like in a gymnastics hall? Pretty similar to when you do it on the ground with no skis. Do you think it would help to practice doing it on the ground and like land on the same spot? Yes. All right. So that's some tips for you for this crazy trick. Next one. We've done it before. It's a daffy butter. The key thing you got to try first is standing still doing this. You should be able to hold your body weight up a little bit longer than a normal jump. And when I spin to the left, I go with the right foot first, or if I spin to the right, I go with the left foot first. Try gently in a traverse with just like a 90 degree rotation. Then we're gonna spice it up more with the double daffy. So I'm just skiing along here, wind up. Easy as that. Try one more time. Really helps to carve into this trick. Makes it way easier. So we're checking out this one, I'm carving. <laughs> Once you got the single daffy 180 down, try the double daffy. Oh, I'm not so good at it. It should be flat where you're standing, not like here. Something like that. Try it in a 180 over a roller and it's a blast. So 
so they need to step it up to a double daffy 360. So I'm gonna carve in, right foot first, forward. I'm gonna be kind of big and then swap in between like 19, 270 degrees. It'll be tricky this one. Let's get it. Daffy Butter 5, how do you think about that? It's a sick trick. I, I started out a little slow and then once I felt comfortable I just went way faster to get more air time. And uh, yeah, it's good to pull with your right foot to like with the rotation and uh, yeah, it worked out great. Perfect, so right foot first, more speed, it's definitely cooler, but start nice and easy with this trick. Let's learn how to daffy landings. Yeah, it was first time trying daffy landings as well for me today. It was a lot of fun. I, I started out with a 180 daffy landing and then worked my way up, my way up to a foot perk 7. It's really hard to get the trajectory, especially on that jump because it's super poppy. And it would work easier on a, like a roller kind of jump with like a flat takeoff um, because you want to go along the landing and not come from top. So if you have a pop to take off, you really have to absorb it. Yeah, kinda. Kinda. I mean, if, if the knuckle would be, or like the landing would be flatter, I think you could do it longer, but because you're coming like from high up, like the trajectory is a little bit tricky. Yeah. But it kinda worked. It could be hard to learn by yourself. Learning a fun group setting at one of our freestyle camps for adults. This winter, spring, or maybe next autumn. See you then. Now we're gonna do a few exciting tricks that he has popularized on Instagram. We're gonna gradually kind of get rid of our skis. What's the first thing we're gonna try? I mean, to start, you can just like ski in a straight, on a, on a flat slope, and then you click out of the binding, but you keep the pressure on your, on your toes stay in the binding and you can like pick the ski up like this ski for a while and then like click back into it in one motion but never let go of the ski then it works fine pretty easy pretty cool don't go too fast when you do this one Okay, so we get rid of one ski. Let's take it one step further and get rid of both. What do you have in store for us here? Um, you can pretty well ski down a slope with no skis at all. It works fine. So you do the same thing as before, but with both of them. You click out, you stabilize yourself. Once you're ready, you jump out of the skis, and that's all you have to do. Go for a ski? Yeah, let's go. Sweet. <laughs> things to have in mind before doing this make sure that your dins aren't too high then it's hard to get out and that slope should be really firm and not too steep and maybe you won't stack it as much as I did okay let's take it even one step further and add some obstacles what are we gonna do now I've uh, done it a couple of times already you can like rail slide with no skis because under your, your ski boot have like that nice uh, Cut out, you can lock on to a rail pretty well. All right, that sounds gnarly. I'm not even sure I want to try it. <laughs> A little scary, but next one. Tail grab. Oh, 
oh, this is such an exciting trick. I suggest you start doing this with a 180 over a small jump. Ideally, like a tabletop jump or something like that. It feels quite safe. First thing, ditch the poles. Makes it look much more fun. Sit down, grab the tail. And in this position, you really want to use your abs to sit pretty tall. And it's a key feature that you carve into the jumps. Um, so in this case, I would carve to the left, grab with the left hand, lift so I have the right hand plus the carve to set up the rotation. And uh, if you sit rather upright, you're not going to land too nose heavy on the landing. Could also help to cork once you can do 360s. That's how to get started with a lazy boy. No, sorry, early tail grab, 180 and 360. Tell me. <laughs> to make the early tail grab a bit sicker. Tell us what we gotta do. So first you find a bigger jump and then to make a carve helps a lot. Because at first I wanted to do a, like pretty much, I wanted to go straight, but I couldn't get the five around, so I did some 360s. And then I want, once I carved a lot, it worked out with the 540. I'm learning a lot of tricks today. <laughs> My strategy is to grab the tail with the leading, hand so I can get a little bit of power with my right hand for a left spin. Makes sense. I can do it better for sure. Alright, let's do that. A lot of fun. <laughs> it's super smooth when you carve it in. It works way better if you do the big carve instead of like going straight and then try to go into the five. Perfect. So the carve helps you. Yeah, a lot, a lot. Sweet. Dude, that was that was beautiful. <laughs> Sorry, mine early on in this video wasn't that sick. Well, that's life. such a beloved trick is back again. The worm turned with some new combos. The most easy version is you just sit down, lay down, drag, roll over, and roll up to your feet. And you do that at the fall line. The important thing is that you really lift the tails almost to your head so those noses don't touch the snow because that will rip your skis off. Let's try one here. Once you can do that, you can do it with some more speed, and then we're gonna make it more difficult for you. Whew. I love a good worm turn. <laughs> we will see what happens. Have you ever tried this before? No, never. But I have a good strategy, I think. Well, I, I, I like hit my my helmet on the on the snow, yeah. and it just like put all snow in my goggles. All right, worm turns made a bit cooler. How can you do that? Um, I also went fast over the knuckle, and my strategy was to like do kind of a hip slide first, wait till it got steep, and then like pop out of it and do the the worm turn. And first, I went a little bit too early, so I hit my head on the knuckle, that was not good, but second one worked fine. How are you gonna get it better this time? Uh, a bit more speed, then I should be further off the ground before I do the turn, then I don't hit my head again. <laughs> Great tips there. Yes. Yes, 
it looks like such a fun trick. I think I, uh, I'm gonna try this in my spare time and I'll show you in some shred edit later this season. Yeah, you have to. It's sick. <laughs> it's sick, you Yeah, a lot of fun. Great. Oh, I can't wait to try it. All right, so for a worm turn, you pick a feature which is long and wide to make it easier and make sure to make it on top 50-50, start rolling towards the end of the feature and you just go with it. Nice worm turn, man. Hey, thank you so much. What about you? You can do it on this one. I'm not such a fan of this. Oh, I, I believe in you. That works <laughs> fine. All right, sure. I'll do it. So I gotta do some worm turn on features too. All right, so I'm trying to be really slow, getting lower, even slower. So spice it up a little bit more. Yes! <laughs> Never done that before. That's kind of exciting. Um, would I recommend that trick? Yeah. That is exciting. Just do the extremely low speed, cheeky little three, make sure that you lay down enough to keep those noses up. If you want to see more crazy stunts, I suggest you give him a follow on Instagram or on his YouTube channel. He's not doing so much there yet. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. It was a lot of fun today. Dude, it's been so rad. I am uh, going to work on some of these tricks. I have a new dream trick, the hand plant front flip. Uh, kind of want to do that sometime. You can do that for sure. I believe in you. <laughs> that, feels, that, that warms me inside. Anyway, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.